Today we're gonna to show you how to get this almost 100 pound king size mattress up this flight of stairs. Welcome to our channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. On this channel, we show you how to do things the fun, tidy, and clean way because I'm a clean freak. And I'm a germaphobe. Our original plan with this video was for me and Janet to move this mattress upstairs. Unfortunately, if you can't tell, I've got a cold and I feel really weak and tired. I'm not gonna be able to help her. So she's gonna be doing this all by herself. But it's okay, she's got this, cause she's totally superwoman. The first way we're gonna show you requires that you have high enough ceilings. If you have low ceilings, stay till the end of the video because we're gonna show you another method. We're gonna fold this mattress in half and then strap it. You can watch us, but if you want more detail, we'll put a link to our other video that shows you how to do that in more depth. Step one is to make sure you have a mattress bag on your mattress. You don't wanna get it dirty while you're moving it. Then we're going to fold it in half. This will work with most memory foam mattresses, even up to 15 inches deep, and the spring mattresses that come in a box. If you have an old style mattress, this may not work. Now that we have it all packaged like a burrito, it makes it a lot easier to go upstairs. Janet's gonna be moving it. I'm gonna sit on the couch and rest, but I'm gonna be her cheerleader helping her along that way with my positivity. We recommend wearing shoes for this part. Even if you have a shoeless house, you don't wanna drop an almost 100 pound mattress on your toes. And if you are doing it, make sure you use your thighs and your leg muscles and not your back. We don't want anyone to get hurt. Wait one second, this is Diana's house. Before I get started, she wanted me to clean off the bottom of my shoes. Thank you for that, we don't wear shoes inside our house. As you know, moving furniture upstairs is a lot of work. Especially king size mattresses. People look at a woman like me and think there's no way you're gonna be able to do this. I've had people say that. Where's the man? Where's the truck? And I'm like, nope, it's just me. Start with it on end and tip it up the stairs first. You're doing great, Janet. Behind it. You're superwoman. Way to rock it. Hey, Janet, listen to this. I'm a base. Guess who come beyond the plate? Put you under the sea. Good job, you're doing so good. It was probably harder than it looked, but you made that look really easy. I am out of breath. And down it goes. That's easier. I know, but it's still like, if you can maneuver it right. The other method we're gonna show you is if you have low ceilings. It requires two people. All right, here's a harder method with two people. So I'm gonna take the middle two straps because Diana's sick and she's gonna do the other, the other ones, but we'll have to take it slow. There you have it, that's how you move a king size mattress up and down stairs. If you also need to put your mattress in the back of an SUV, we have a video about that too, and we'll catch you in the next video.